Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I have the OnePlus 7T, and what I want to do in this video is discuss the build of this phone, okay? So, I just want to kind of go over uh, what my thoughts are here. Um, we know that uh, the 7T here was released in September of 2019, so... You know, it's it's been around for about two-thirds of a year. Um, and I think that, you know, for the money especially, if, if you can pick up this phone for 500 bucks, uh, which is what I got it for from OnePlus, it's just a really, really solid phone here, guys. So if we take a look here, we do have a bezel-less design. Now, I have the notch blackout on there, but there is a teardrop notch there, and you can see you can extend the screen up, but uh, that's how I have mine set up. It is a really good look here on the front of the device. A uh, smaller bezel here on the bottom, uh, or a little larger, I guess, than the other sides, but the thing about this phone is it feels really good to hold it. If we look here, this is the frosted silver model, and we've kind of got these chrome-looking sides. So here on the left side, we've got a single volume rocker there. On the top, we've got a microphone here with antenna bands, and then on the right side here we've got an alert slider okay you can see how that goes all right and then you got your power slash google assistant button right there okay another antenna band down here and then you've got your speaker it's a dual speaker setup your other speaker is really large up here as you can see there really powerful dual speaker setup here usb type c and your sim tray there is no micro sd card slot okay so turning the phone over we have this nice uh kind of in the middle it's not super glossy but it's uh it's more on the matte side of things uh, it's this frosted silver color with this large uh, camera uh, ring here. It is a triple camera setup with an LED flash. It does The camera does stick out a little bit from the back of the phone. But I really like the look of this. I think it's unique and different. And it just looks a little more premium to me than like the OnePlus 7 Pro with its you know, vertical um, up and down camera. That just don't look quite as nice to me. I like this better. Um, got the OnePlus logo right there. OnePlus branding, you know, name there. Uh, so we do have curves on the sides of the back. And believe it or not, that's a pretty big deal because it makes the phone a lot more comfortable when you're holding it okay so really really nice build here even though this is um i guess it's a glass back i think it is we do not have wireless charging here uh you know one plus is on this phone uses the proprietary 30T warp charge. I guess it's not proprietary because it is USB type C, but if you want that fast charging and it's really fast, it's supposed to be like 23% faster versus the 7 Pro. Um, but yeah, you can really top this thing off fast. Um, so then, um, uh, the other thing is, is it's not water resistant. Okay, but remember, this phone originally was six hundred bucks. OnePlus has had it on sale for five hundred. So when you're paying down like that, you're gonna make some sacrifices. It's just the way it goes. 
Uh, but for me personally, water resistance is not a must-have. I like it, but I don't have to have it. And wireless charging, again, it's the same thing. It's really convenient to be able to just lay it on a charger, but the kind of, you know, the really fast corded charging kind of compensates for that. So I'm perfectly fine with the setup here, especially for the price. Now, if I'd have paid 800 bucks for this phone, no, I wouldn't be happy. Um, but considering the price, I think it's definitely fair. Um, so the other thing here is we do have kind of a thinner side-to-side -side, um, width here, you know, 74.4 millimeters. Okay, I think the OnePlus 7 Pro, I want to say, was like 76.1, something like that. So you definitely notice the phone isn't quite as wide 75 is kind of the sweet spot for my hands. Anything under 75, it feels pretty good in the hand. But once you start to get above 75, it starts to get a little too wide for my hand. So I really like the width of this phone. And it's 190 grams. Okay, and that's about the perfect weight. It doesn't feel too light, but it doesn't feel too heavy. My OnePlus 7 Pro was uh, 206 grams, and that one felt a little on the heavy side, okay? I mean, it just did, but this feels, you know, that 16 grams, you do notice a difference. Um, I do think this feels better weight-wise, so now, obviously, there's no headphone jack here, but you didn't have that on the 7 Pro either. You don't have it on the 8 phones. Uh, it just is what it is. It did not come with a dongle in the box, unfortunately. So you, if you want that, you would have to buy that separately. This is the U.S. edition of the phone. Um but guys, I think the build here, in my opinion, the build is definitely better than the 7 Pro. I just like this circular camera. I like the chrome sides. I really like this frosted silver color. Um, there is a blue color that looks nice. Uh, but I just... Uh, really dig in this build here. I mean, I like the notch here. Um, you know, it's just a, a really nice phone here. Um, yeah, I don't think you're going to go wrong with the build on this phone. So guys, those are my thoughts here with the OnePlus 7T. As always, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And then of course, hitting that thumbs up button there helps as well. For now, guys. Peace out.